Hello friends, I'm right here in the editing room putting the final touches on this Just Friends DVD. Throughout my 40 year career, I've been very blessed you know, to have uh, great producers, directors, songwriters, artists, musicians, vocalists. So I put this uh, CD, Just Friends, together and now I'm working on this DVD. So all of you at home can sit back and watch all these great vocalists that I've worked for throughout the years. Now they're coming into your home. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this uh, DVD, Just Friends. All right, uh -oh. our next guest is Adalberto Gallegos of the historical, iconic name, the Latin Breed Band. Let me tell you a little bit about Albert because I've known him for so long. Albert um, comes from Tucson, Arizona. He's been singing since about eight years old. He has sung with um, mariachi. He's sung with uh, orchestras. He's sung with Tejano uh, bands, conjuntos, norteños, symphonies, jazz ensembles. Oh, I want to meet him. <laughs> jazz ensembles. He's uh, sung from Disney World to the White House. Great Amen. history, and he's a great singer, well respected in the Tejano music industry. And uh, Albert, how are you, buddy? I'm doing fine, Henry. Good. Como estas, brother? I'm, good to I'm see good. you. Back in your element here. <laughs> oh, for a little while. In only. one of your elements. Uh, one, <laughs> for a little while. The song you're going to sing, uh, you wrote. And but before that, tell me a little bit of history about um, when you came to Texas to participate in La Onda Tejana. Well, when I came to Texas, uh, that was quite a while back. It was 1975, and uh, I was working here at a club uh, in San Antonio called the USA Continental Club. I was singing for a band called the USA Band, and uh, they were all ex-members of Sunny and the Sunliners. And, and during that time, I was asked to join a group out of the valley. They were from McAllen, and they were called Los Fabulosos Cuatro. Uh, again? <laughs> we just keep talking about <laughs> that. That name keeps surging. I yeah. guess it keeps coming up. But I was given the opportunity to sing for them, and it kind of was a step forward for me, and um, in, my, in financially speaking. and. Uh, I was honored to do it. These guys had uh, many recordings out in the industry, and uh, I was just flattered that uh, I was asked to do this. And this is one of the songs that we did originally there with uh, Los Fabulosos called No Me Trates Así. You wrote it. I wrote it. And um, now it, uh, that David is recording a, a compilation yeah. CD, or did record this compilation CD, he, he asked me to appear on it, and uh, he picked this song. <laughs> So what a great song! <laughs> I know the song, right? So what was your feelings? Uh, how did you, uh, when David called you, made the call and say, uh, were you surprised? Were you? No, you know, it's, it, David has the right idea. You know, he's, uh, he never, he's that little bunny that never stops trying and right. going at it and working at it. And uh, this time, it's a, like a, a, an effort of, the, it's a coalition of willing souls, you know, that... Uh, are supportive of, of David. I'm very supportive of David. He's uh, not only is he, is he a good guy, he's a great musician, accordionist. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I love the idea, you know, getting all the, all of the singers to participate on this That's record. Right. I think he should put it on the road, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Make and a tour out of this. I think this uh, CD uh, has been so successful, you know, that uh, there's all the uh, writings on the wall that could be another one, you know. Cause it has all the makings of That's success. That's right. When really you have does. this much. Con uh, artistic talent in one CD, one DVD, it really makes it something special. Yeah, I'm sure you've already interviewed quite a few uh, singers. Uh, yes, sir. And, I mean, these guys are, bar none, they all equal in, in talent. Absolutely. One of the most... Uh, of course, I'm the best, you know, but... No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. One of the top singers in London, the Hannah, bar none. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> yeah. Alberto Gallegos, he's next. Hang on. Yes. 
vas a acabar con nuestro gran cariño porque me haces llorar si no te doy motivo porque me tratas mal si soy bueno con Our next guest is uh, Jesse Serrata, and I really want to talk to Jesse because he and I are almost from the same uh, area out there in uh, La Tierra de la Quineña. He's from Robstown, I'm from Kingsville, and uh, I was very fortunate uh, in my teenage years to actually experience the Baile Grande de Domingo Peña when Jesse was singing with El Conjunto Bernal. And I was talking to Jesse, the last time I talked to him, we were in Vegas. And Jesse, tell me about that experience with Conjunto Bernal. Well, uh, let me tell you, una cosa bien bonita, ¿verdad? It's beautiful that uh, it was uh, like uh, algo nuevo para mí, you know, something new that, 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 that and when I was a kid, my goal in life was, you know, to play with Conjunto Bernal, which, which uh, uh, se me concedió, ¿verdad? And, uh, and it's mucho talento que había ahí, Bethelo Bernal, uh, Luis Bernal, Paulino exactly. Bernal, all kinds of, uh, mucho talento, ¿verdad? Pero es una experiencia tremendísima que, I mean, throughout the years I still enjoy it playing uh, the music del Conjunto Bernal. Well, I think they've set a, a great foundation for you because uh, they were so, uh, they were perfectionists and they are yes. professionals and they set the bar real high for the Conjunto world and everybody wanted to be like them and uh, they worked hard at it and had great success and uh, you're certainly one of their products. And, uh, well, uh, congratulations uh, I, for I that. thank I thank the Lord for all that too and uh, I thank uh, all the musicians out there. I just it's a little Conjunto Bernal, you know, que bien muchos se los fueron, verdad, se retiraron ya, pero we I still have it in my heart, you know, cuz uh, it was a uh, learning uh, experience, you know, for me and uh, and I take that in my heart all the Good way. Good deal. Tell me about the song. The song that we're going to do, uh, the composer of the song is, uh, is Juan Solis right. from Kingsville. Right. Well, it's uh, from Bishop, but <laughs> los Solis eran de ahí también de esa área. Anyway, uh, uh, one hell of a composer, let me tell you. The guy has composed a lot of hits, uh, uh, especially uh, for David Lee, for Jay, for myself, for my brother. And uh, this song is uh, it's, uh, it's one of his, I think, uh, it's the best songs he's, he's ever written. And, uh, and uh, I think uh, all the people out there, when they listen to it, they're going to enjoy it, they're going to love it. 
Excellent. Got to get this uh, DVD so you can uh, and the CD so you can put it in your car when you drive around. Jesse, good to see you again, brother. Gracias, sir. And thank you very much. Congratulations and thank you very much. We'll see you again. Glad Here's you. Jesse Serrata. Thank you. alma me enamoré de ti Te quiero, te adoro y no puedo estar sin ti En la noche siempre rezo por tu amor Que Diosito me entregue todo, todo tu calor Amorcito del alma ven calme este dolor Que me hiere y me mata y me queme el corazón es difícil vivir estar pensando en ti Yo me volvería loco si no estuvieras aquí Te amo, te adoro, eres un tesoro Espero que seas para mí Te amo, te adoro, eres un antojo que no puedo Garza's next guest is David Farias. What a name and what, uh, I'll tell you what, his musical um, history here is short, but it is compact. He started off as a young man with uh, Los Hermanos Farias. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you went to change the name to La Tropa F. Emergency the Tropa F. And then you went to the Tex Maniacs. Tex Maniacs. You just yeah, keep yeah. going up and up. Back and to Los Hermanos Farias otra vez. Yeah, but before that, I want to say this. Congratulations, because... You have won a Grammy. Yes, sir, I have. And that man. is Thank awesome. You. It's a great. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, a primero mente. It, it's nice to see you, you know, Henry. It's uh, yeah. it's been a long time, man. I was just see you. I you when I used to see your show man, oh, back in the you. days. But you know, I've come a long way since. Gracias a Dios a todos los fanáticos, everybody that's uh, you know uh, treated me good you know, on, on my career and. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I was with Hermanos Farias, with all the hermanos, yes, then exactly. we went to La Tropa F in the 90s, and that was a good run, and uh, I did Tex Maniacs for eight years. Good deal. And we did a lot of traveling from all over the world. Uh, we did China, Argentina, Maine, Afghanistan, Iraq, Kuwait, and we did a lot of stuff for the troops uh, overseas, and uh, you know, it's 
Tuvo muy bien, gracias a Dios, gracias a mi compañero Max Bach, es una buena persona. Exactly. And uh, I started doing Hermanos Farías, Tex Mania, Hermanos Farías, back, back and back, and it's, it's a lot of work, man. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, there's nothing easy about uh, it. I just got real busy with my brothers otra vez, los Hermanos Farías, and started, and, uh, but we left in good terms, me and Max, yeah. you know, and uh, he still helps me out when uh, my brother can't make it or something, he's got a plan or algo, pero buenos amigos, and gracias a todos los fanáticos, everybody that uh, has follow me through the career man well david you have got a style of your own and that's what you need in this industry you got to cut out a little yes. niche for yourself um you're uh, kind of like a dynamite and small package <laughs> but you've got a lot of energy um, Mel, chiquito, pero sí. there you go. no <laughs> uh, a lot of energy in your Gracias, music man. thank you uh the way you play your accordion the way you sing the way you uh your whole uh essence and on on stage is, is totally different thank you it, very it much. just turns into magic and uh i congratulate you for that tell us a little bit about that song you're going to sing bueno, esta, esta selección, este, uh, mi tocayo, man, call me, este, tocayo, you want to do a song, I got a, uh, a David Lee and Friends CD is coming out, I'm like, yeah, more than happy to do it, and it's una canción de Carlos, man, and I always like the way Carlos, Carlos. sings, man, yeah, he's got a great voice, he's real Mr. deep voice, he's Mr. Debonair from the yeah. Valley, uh, and you know, he gave me five songs, el tocayo, he could pick the songs you want, so, they were Carlos Guzman, and, and I, the one I picked out is, you know, I went through all of them, and I think this is the right one, so, Went in the studio and the trash were laid on. Because me, me and yo y David Toltimos, we do a uh, duet on the corners, man, you know. Right. Como los Pau Reales back yes, in the days. Uh -huh. And uh, so we said, hey, yo, le metemos la cordeón. And we did a Gilbert studio. Gilbert was like, no, no, no. So, you know, I respect Gilbert a lot. I mean, we learned a lot from Gilbert sure. Velasquez. And uh, let's do it this way. A lo sigue, a lo esta manera. And we kind of put all three, three mm -hmm. together, man. And um, it salió bien, gracias a Dios. What's the name of the song? ¿Cómo se llama la canción? Se me olvidó. <laughs> ya, no, ya no puedo, something like that's called. It's the, but it's, it's, it's a great song, man. And uh, like I said, I always like Carlos Man, how he sings and you know, his, yeah. his songs. I've known Carlos for many, many Pero years. Felicidades al tocayo, David yes, Garza, on his project, and uh, I wish him the best. And you know, he's, he's, he's the master, man. He's that's the right. master he's, de la correa. Okay. You got to give him credit for that. He's uh, put this whole group together, and it's... Uh, a fine group of it's, artists. It's like going to a DLG University. That's exactly, what it is. <laughs> exactly. So I'm part of that university. That's okay. right. No, no, gracias. De veras, you know, este, David is an awesome guy, humble guy, and, yes. and he's done a lot for the industry. That's right. I don't know if you remember back in 93, there was a project done at the Conjunto at the TTMA. I did. It was a Flaco, Mingo, right? Pete, oh, myself, and David yeah. Lee. And that was a David Lee project. Yeah. And he included me on that one time, back good. in 93. That's awesome. And uh, That's again, otra vez, you know, so okay, I, I congratulate him a lot and, uh, and wish him the best, you know. Well, we wish you the best. Gracias. In your next, uh, you know, your next uh, few years because you've done so much in a short Gracias. period of time. Congratulations. Thank you, Henry. David Farias is next. Hang on. Sostenerme, no comprendo qué pasa conmigo. Mi pobre alma suspira por verte, pero sé que no soy ni tu amigo. He caído tan bajo que nunca, ya jamás no podré levantarme. Ya pa' qué necesito tus besos, no regreses de nuevo a buscarme. Me amanece y no sé dónde estoy, donde quiera me quedo dormido. Me despierta el rayo del sol, de a ver lo que has hecho conmigo. sostenerme no comprendo qué pasa conmigo y 
podrían más suspirar por verte Pero sé que no soy ni tu amigo He caído tan bajo que nunca Ya jamás no podré levantarme Ya pa' qué necesito tus besos No regreses de nuevo a buscarme me amanece y no sé dónde estoy Donde quiera me quedo dormido Me despierta el rayo del sol De ver lo que has hecho conmigo Me amanece y no sé dónde estoy Donde quiera me quedo dormido Me despierta el rayo del sol Ven a ver lo que has hecho conmigo Okay, we've got a treat for you now because we have got a young man who's made so much noise in the Tejano music industry that he has actually uh, got noticed and David Lee picked him out and selected him to be the lead singer of his group now. So he's been working with David Lee for a while and I want to introduce to you uh, this 19 year old gentleman that I uh, just met. I've heard a lot about him, heard his music, heard his songs, but Joaquin, welcome. Thank you very much. And, uh, Welcome aboard the CD. Pleasure to meet you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, uh, I mean, you're not even old enough to be in this place, but uh, that's okay, right? <laughs> yeah, that's okay, but... <laughs> you're among uh, Tejano royalty here. How do you feel about that? Oh, uh, well, you know, it's an honor, actually, to be here with all uh, mm -hmm. the great Tejano stars. But um, I'm 19 years old, and I'm originally from Fort Collins, Colorado, and I've been singing since I was about 11 years old, Tejano. My grandpa's the one that got me into the music, so. Well, there you go. That means there's Tejanos everywhere, right? That is true. I mean, even though if you're born in Colorado, tell me about your grandpa. You said uh, that he's the one that kind of uh, influenced, me, influenced yeah. you in the music. Well, my grandpa's been playing for about 50 years, man, Tejano. And uh, he influenced me when I was about 10 years old, and we would do, like, Latin breed tunes and yeah. uh, uh, stuff like, Hey Baby, Que Paso, just yeah. little little tunes like yeah. that that's how I got into it but he's a Colorado Chicano Hall of Famer so awesome. he's a very established musician and he's my teacher well you're on your way too because you've uh, graduated to a high level yes, in a sir. short period of time yes, sir. I mean you're actually singing with David Lee Garza and uh, you know that uh, the singers that preceded you and what they've done yes you know uh, uh, Emilio Navaira, Jay Perez, the big names, and big names, man, mm -hmm. and uh, those gentlemen right there have done uh, great for themselves. So, uh, sure I mean, are. there's going to be big things for you, but right now, I think you should enjoy and uh, bask in the uh, in the uh, fame that uh, David Lee has. Definitely. It's what a, song are you going to sing for us? Uh, the song is called uh, "Ella Sabe." Okay. Ella Sabe. It's an original song. I didn't write it myself, but somebody else wrote it. I'm unaware of who wrote it, but right. it was an honor to be on the CD, and I think it came out pretty well. It came out pretty well, and hopefully uh, we can do more projects in the future. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, congratulations to you. Uh, your talent certainly is uh, coming forth. Uh, the, uh, the fans are, has uh, just you, they've gravitated to you. And, and that's I'm very good, thankful for it. That's a good thing because those are the ones that we, have, that we work for. Yes, sir. You know, you work for the fans, and if the fans like you, then you're going to have a smooth ride. Mm -hmm. There's not going to, you're not going to be, not forcing anything. It's not under duress, and it's going to be a smooth ride for you. And I, I wish you the best, and I hope you stay with David Lee for a long, long time. I hope you have many hits, Thank and uh, I hope to see you again. Thank you very All much. Right. Pleasure to meet you. Joaquin Cura, he's next. Thank you. Hang on. Cuánto la extraño, aunque ha pasado cada 
hace un año Que no la he visto más, no importa Porque yo aún la amo Y no he querido olvidar Yo desearía que volviera Para entregarle el corazón Aunque ha jugado con mi vida Te ha dado tantas fantasías no dejaré que la esperanza se muera dentro de mi ser. Ahora tengo la confianza de que un día la encontraré. No es necesario que le digas, ella sabe cuánto la amé. Desearía que volviera para entregarle el corazón. Aunque ha jugado con mi vida, te ha dado tantas fantasías en mi frágil interior. No dejaré que la esperanza se muera de And we continue with our next artist, uh, Gabriel Olvera. What a fantastic voice. What a smooth voice. And I consider him one of the new crooners in the Tejano music industry. Uh, he's, he is relatively new. He's been around for a while. He's got a few CDs. But, Gabriel, good to see you again, brother. Good to see you, too, Henry. And, uh, it's always I'm, a pleasure. I'm glad uh, that you got to participate in this project. Oh, it was a big honor for me. Yeah. I uh, Tell me a little bit about yourself, because I know that you don't have as much history. But, I mean, you really don't need history. You've got talent. And you cannot ignore talent. Thank you for saying so that. So, I've always, uh, your voice is so pure when I hear it on, this, on your CDs. And you uh, certainly are a perfectionist when it comes to production, because... Uh, your, your songs are uh, some of the best uh, in, in the industry that I personally like. Thank you. And um, But tell me a little history about you, and then we'll continue and uh, kind of segue into what we're doing now. Well, um, my name is Gabriel Olvera, and um, I'm from a small town called Mejia, Texas. It's, and where, uh, where is that? It's 40 miles east of Waco in central Texas. Okay, well, that's cool. I was born and raised there. My parents are from Mexico. Uh -huh. And, uh, man, I, I grew up listening to Tejano music. Uh, from the first time I heard it, I identified with it, and I said, "Man, I, that's the that's the genre I want to sing." And that's right. and uh, I grew up singing in church, though, and and uh, all my life I sing in church. And then one day I I decided, well, it's time to record an album, and I I recorded an album with uh, Bob Gayarza, a yes, fr friend I of ours. That. Yeah. And uh, ever since then, uh, great producer. I've, I've, been, I've been around around the industry, and uh, uh, it wasn't too long ago that David Lee Garza called me and invited me to be a part of this project. Excellent. I know that you said you you sing in church, so you've got a a very strong uh, spiritual uh, foundation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, not to be ignorant, but have you recorded uh, your spiritual CD yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I've recorded um, spiritual Christian albums as well. Good deal. And I'm working on another one right now. And uh, you know, just try, trying to do a little bit of everything. Excellent. The Tejano uh, CD you did with Baba Garza, I, I, my hat's off to you. That was a great production. Thank you. Thank you. did a great job. Bob, of course, is a genius. And uh, with your voice and his... Uh, uh, ability to uh, produce and to uh, 
a range. Uh, he did a, an excellent job. How did you feel when uh, David called you and said, hey, I want you to be a part of this uh, group of artists? Uh, oh, I, I felt very excited. I, David Lee was one of my first influences that I heard, and, and uh, I fell in love with his music because his accordion style is just so unique, so original. And uh, I always wanted to, to record with him. I, it was one of my dreams, and, and when he called, I was so excited. You're ready that. to go, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's mm -hmm. just the David Lee style is uh, it's a happy style, you know, yeah, real, real danceable. And, Very danceable. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, he's so successful. Oh, yeah. The song, Mi Corazoncito, am I correct? Mi Carinito. Mi Carinito, uh -huh. okay. With, uh, uh, was that a, a, a I believe it was a Pedro Infante song. Yeah, it's a Pedro Infante you're, song. You're it's too very... young to even remember Pedro Infante in the movies. How'd you pick well, that song? <laughs> well, I, I did grow up watching Pedro Infante movies. Oh, did movies. you? Really? Yeah. Okay. My parents loved Pedro Infante, so yeah. we would watch a lot of his movies at home. And, okay. And um, I grew up listening to a lot of his material, and I recorded another song called Amorcito Corazón oh, with, I, with I Bob. Oh, I love that song. That's yeah. a great song. And I wanted to find another song like kind of like in that. the same genre, uh -huh. and it, it, it so happens that Mi Carinita was written by the same author as okay, Amorcito Corazón, so it's another one of those classic songs that yeah. hasn't been done too much over the years, yeah. and uh, it's, it's actually a song that was written for uh, for mothers, I so see. you can dedicate that to your mother. There and, you uh, go. A great uh, song. This is Gabriel Olvera. You're going to hear more about him, and wait till you hear his voice. If you haven't heard him yet, you're going to be really impressed with that Gabriel, good to see you, buddy. Thank you, Henry. Congratulations. Thank you, All sir. right, here's Gabriel Olvera. Desesperé Cariño que a mí me quiere Con dulce amor Para ella no existe pena Que no consuele Mirándome su carita Yo miro a Dios Ay, qué dichoso soy, con ella soy feliz, viva su vida, mi cariñito que tengo aquí. Desesperé Cariño Que a mí me quiere Con dulce amor Para ella no existe Pena Que no consuele Mirándole a su carita Yo miro a Dios
And we continue with the line of uh, stars here at uh, this great venue that uh, David Lee's putting on together. A great friend of mine that I've known for many, many years. I've known David since he was with the uh, Royal Jesters. That's right. And then his group people. And then, uh, of course, uh, the group that he's with now. So, David, uh, how are you? Doing fine. And, and you know what? We actually go back to the show when you had your show. Oh, the Pepsi Pena show. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, cool. That was a long time ago. <laughs> we did have a good time back then, we wasn't it? We certainly did. It was awesome. Hey, listen, um, I know you're touring right now all over, but uh, I wanted to just say that I consider you one of the crooners in the Tejano music because you, you've got such a smooth voice and uh, you've done such a great job with your artistic career. Tell me a little bit about this project. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your kind words. Thank you so much. I, I, that means a lot to musicians that, you know, your fellow peers, you know, uh, acknowledge your work and listen to you. And, Absolutely. And that, that, that means more than any, all the other stuff comes <laughs> with it. Thank you for that. Sure. And I'm just as thrilled to be part of this, uh, también, this, this thing here, man, the David Lee's new mm -hmm. uh, CD. Um, they called me up uh, when they were starting to do the, the whole thing, the concept sure. of it. And, and uh, would I sing a song? I said, I'd be happy to. David actually played on Fijate, my first oh, great. first release. And um, great. so I've always told him, yes, I'd be happy to do something. And, and I'm glad. Good yeah. deal. Tell me about this song. Was it selected? You selected it? Did David select it for you? Yeah, it was selected for me. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it was uh, something that they felt fit me. And uh, I'm glad they did. It was, it's a beautiful. It's got a little melodic line to it, you mm -hmm. know, the, the whole melody of it. And uh, so I was happy to do that. And... Uh, Whichever way it came into my hands, I'm glad it came into my hands. Excellent. Well, you know, David's got uh, great respect for your artistic uh, ability, and I think that the feeling is mutual. Yes. And uh, you guys uh, have put a great venue here together, so I can only wait to see you on stage and get this thing done. Hey, I'm looking forward to it, and man, I'm bad. <laughs> Good to see you, Glad to see you. All right, you too. <laughs> we continue with David Maris. a fuego lento y sentir entre mis venas un millón de primaveras que me incitan al besar el roce de tu fina espalda un beso entre tu boca encanta la suave caterata de tu pelo entre la almohada antes de subirnos en amor mi amor me bastas tú para alcanzar el cielo azul con tanto amor entre las sábanas se va el dolor no existen lágrimas por Dios mi amor me bastas tú y nadie más tan solo tú para desamanecer mi sangre me bastas tú mi amor y nadie más Me basta respirar tu aliento para quemarme a fuego lento y sentir entre mis venas un millón de primaveras que me encitan al besar el roce de tu fina espalda un beso entre tu boca encanta la suave catarata de tu pelo entre la almohada antes de unirnos en amor, por Dios mi amor me bastas tú para alcanzar el cielo azul. Con tanto amor entre las sábanas se va el dolor, no existen lágrimas. Por Dios mi amor me bastas tú y nadie más tan solo. 
puedes amanecer mis ansias Me bastas tú mi amor y nadie más Por Dios mi amor me bastas tú Y nadie más tan solo Amanecer mis ansias, me bastas tú mi amor y nadie más. Me bastas tú mi amor y nadie Seguimos adelante con más este, músicos, más cantantes, más artistas, compositores en este, esta producción de David Lee Garza. Aquí tengo conmigo Marcos Orozco. ¿Cómo estás, Marcos? Muy bien, muy Justo bien. Gusto verte. Gracias, gracias igualmente, igualmente. Vamos a platicar un poquito de tu historia. ¿En ¿Dónde empezaste? Dime algo de la, la, cuando estabas con Laura Canales. Pues mira, nosotros este, tuvimos la fortuna de, de conocer a los fabulosos cuatro. Uh, Juan Hinojosa, que en paz descanse, ya no está con nosotros, Armando Hinojosa, que fueron los que me dieron la oportunidad de, de entrar en la música tejana. Uh -huh. Y bueno, por ahí también, como acabas de mencionar, estuvimos acompañando a Laura Canales, uh -huh. eh, también al señor Carlos Guzmán, también estuvimos por ahí con Carlos Guzmán. Eh, los Fabulosos Cuatro, los Fabulosos Cuatro, que fue que iniciamos nuestra carrera con ellos, grabando eh, de corazón a corazón, liando, siguiendo los pasos, canciones que, gracias a Dios, eh, la gente apoyó bastante uh -huh. y eh, estuvimos con ellos por ahí alrededor de que serían tres años con, con los, los cuatro eh, surgió la oportunidad de venir con, con David Ligarse los musicales eh, por ahí estuvimos seis años seis años y medio y luego ya pues ahora con mi con mi carrera solista y durante esos seis años eh, entiendo que recibiste tu diploma tu educación en la universidad ¿no? Pues mira, yo fui a la escuela, a la escuela de música, me, me gradué de, de, de maestro de música, maestro de música por ahí, estudiamos música, desde muy pequeño me, me encantó la, a la, a la cosa de la música, mi hermano tocaba guitarra y por ahí sí. surgió la, la inquietud de, de, de la música. Sí. Y, pero bueno, la onda, la cosa mía no era yo creo la de, lo de las clases, no, era, <risa> era, era la cantada, el, el estar en el escenario y... Pero te recibiste y, para y, ser maestro, pero sí. dijiste, ¿sabes qué? Vamos a cantar mejor. ¿verdad? Sí, 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 este, acá hay más feria. <risa> <risa> okay, bueno, no, pero... Platícame de la canción ahorita y dime qué, qué sentiste tú cuando te, David te dijo, ¿sabes qué? Si puedes venir a ayudarme con esta promoción. No, no, yo creo que David y yo tenemos una amistad muy bonita de muchos años, como te digo, bueno. integré, integré el grupo por por seis, seis años y medio y la pasamos bien, bien padre, una experiencia muy bonita que obviamente nunca, nunca la voy a olvidar, fueron años muy bonitos que la gente nos apoyó bastante y bueno cuando él me, me hizo el invite de venir a, a, a participar en este, en este proyecto, pues inmediatamente, por supuesto, por supuesto que sí, no lo dudé, eh, estamos aquí para, para ayudarnos, estamos en lo mismo y, 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 y bueno como dices la canción que, que estoy cantando el día de, en, en este disco, se llama Soy del Amor un Soñador, que es una canción mía que yo escribí también. Así es que... también? No, no, es una canción original, okay. una canción original mía que apenas la, la escribí okay. y salió algo bien padre. Qué bueno, pues esperamos verte ahorita este, con la, la orquesta para que cantes esta bonita canción. Aquí está con ustedes Marcos Orozco. Gracias. Marcos. Gracias a ustedes. Bien, Gracias. Fue ideal, o tú 
llegada a vida mía De par en par abrí el portal De mi corazón que te esperaba Tú llegaste a revivir Sentimientos de mi alma And we continue here at David Lee Goddess's show and dance, and we have the incomparable and friends. <laughs> you forgot the friends and you, friends. You forgot yeah. us. And we got the incomparable Gary Hobbs here. How you doing, Gary? Mr. Pena. Good to How see you, buddy. You, it's nice to see you. Thanks for being a part of the group. What did you think when they called you? You said, "Wow, this is cool." I tell you what, uh, I always kid with uh, David Lee. I always kid with him that when I see him on the road or here or there. I tell them everybody's gone through that David Lee Garza University, you know, singing except me. And uh, we, I guess there's a good reason why I have. You have been your been. own university. I mean, how, <laughs> well, long, how long have you been doing this? Uh, Thirty years now. Thirty years. And you still don't look a day over twenty-five. Oh my man. God, <laughs> man, God bless, bless him, Lord. But I bless. know you got six grandchildren. So yeah, I sure do. So. But um, when David Lee asked me, it was it was uh, it was something that I just said in a heartbeat. You know, I I love to do it and be a part of it, and uh, I don't get a lot of time to to be with colleagues and stuff, but. Uh, but it was a good feeling, and I'm glad I'm part of this. This is a great collaboration because everybody that's here has expressed their uh, respect for David Lee. Sure. Uh, the amount of years that he's put into this uh, genre, and uh, he continues to move forward. This is kind of a, his own personal project, and uh, mm -hmm. he called a lot of his friends out. And I think everybody, just like you, decided in a heartbeat let's get this thing done you well know? i've been very fond of uh, the Garza family for a lot of years and i got to meet uh, his, his dad tony yeah mr Garza, and i uh, i thought the world of him he's very disciplined very uh, uh spiritual man too yeah. i got to see that side of him and uh i was just happy to do it with uh, with david and excellent tell me about the song you're gonna sing uh i sing la barca 
La Barca is an old standard from the, uh, I don't recall the actual year, but it's from that golden era, uh, traditional romantic uh, yeah. La Barca. And uh, I'll tell you what, David Lee sent me two, three songs and uh, and, and I'll be quite just blunt. And, and I told him, oh, I just don't see myself singing that. And, and uh, I didn't want to be, I was glad to be part of the project, but I didn't want to be like too picky, right? Well, but, it, uh, it doesn't really sound, it doesn't have the same uh, style that you have, but it's still you and uh, you kind of blended it really sure. well. And I, and I told him, well, I'm, I'm a, I, I love romantic songs that we turn into Tejano. And, uh, and, and he came back uh, with a text like within a couple of minutes and he said, one of my all time favorite songs is La Barca. I don't know if I should have said that, Dave, but uh, and you said sold. But, I'll do it. But La Barca, and and of course I have I've heard it and I knew the melody, and so the next thing you know I'm rehearsing and I'm in the studio with Gilbert, and uh, I'm glad I was part of it. Excellent. You know I've been through your website, and uh, there's a, a part of you that a lot of people don't know, but you've got a real strong spiritual foundation. Yeah, Tell man. us about that. You know, uh, I'm, I'm I'm glad you give me this quick opportunity, but a lot of people, Mr. Benga, they 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 come to the Lord when they're uh, hard circumstances, right? Right. Easy and to do. Some people say that you, you meet God in prison or you meet God when you're terminally ill and stuff like that. And when I came to the Lord in 93, I, I was I was doing great. Amen, brother. But I've been through some storms just like you have, like other people. Absolutely. And, uh, and my faith is that uh, I, I trust in God. I trust in God in everything that I do now. And I put it in His hands. And, uh, you know, I, I just uh, intend to walk and get closer to his presence every day excellent Amen. awesome i'm glad uh, that you said that because i know that our audience here uh, certainly has a spiritual foundation and it's good to know that it's not only our our, our work here uh, singing and dancing and putting on a show together but we all have our our serious side yeah Amen. brother it's good to see you again thank you very you're looking much. good good you're luck looking, to you you're looking just as good as the <laughs> 70s brother <laughs> Bless you. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate it. I asked, I, I asked him, uh, did you ever watch a Pepsi Pena show? He said, absolutely. absolutely. So anyway, those are Saturday good times. afternoons. Yeah, that's right. One o'clock. And right. I want to thank David also for giving me the opportunity. Yeah. I'm honored to be here with you guys. And uh, so let's get you up there. And let's get thank this thing you, done. Thank you, Dave. Right, God buddy. bless, bro. All right. See you later.
vida que no naufrague en tu vivir Cuando la luz del sol se está apagando Y te sientas cansada de vagar Piensa que yo por ti estaré esperando Hasta que tú decidas And we continue with the lineup of stars here at uh, David Lee Garza's uh, great venue and promotion. Today, I have uh, a historical figure, <laughs> only because Eddie has been around so long, and he's got great history, great Wake stories. Me up when it's on. Yeah, great <laughs> history and great stories. Eddie, how are you? I'm great. Man. Okay, great, it's... buddy. Tell me a little bit about how you got started, and uh, you've well, got such a great, uh, colorful history. Uh, I've been singing since I was like. Uh, Five and a half, six years old, algo así. Cuando andaba uno trabajando en la labor, le, le destapaba con las canciones. Algodón o las piscas. A todo le hacía, el algodón, el tomate y you name it. Y, este, y luego entré en la música en la escuela. Uh -huh. y no, empecé tocando clarinete, actually. Uh -huh. No cantaba. No. no, no cantaba, no empecé a cantar profesionally until I was like 14 and a half, something like Hasta that. Hasta que te dio hambre como se Sí, me dio hambre, sí. Y empecé dando serenatas, fíjate, sí. con uh, Mother's Day and things like that. Uh -huh. Y luego entré con unos grupitos ahí en el valle, soy, soy del valle. Me fui al, ej al ejército uh, a la edad de 20 and uh, I auditioned for the Air Force Band and I became a, a musician in the military. Awesome. Yeah, for, for about five years. Y ya por tantito me quedo en, el, en la militar como músico, uh, pero me habló Oscar Hernández. Yeah. Dijo que quería, sí, los profesionales, quería, quería hacer un grupo y me salí de la Fuerza Aérea. Entré con Oscar, anduve varios años, le dimos vuelta a toda la nación. Y luego entré con Los Fabulosos Cuatro como por ocho años. Y, y Tenemos muchos cantantes ahora que salieron de Los Fabulosos Cuatro. Bastantes. Oh, great job, bastantes, sí, bastantes. ¿Y ahorita qué estás haciendo? Pues ahorita trabajo en el Valle, uh -huh. ando con una orquesta, se llama The West Side Band, es una orquesta grande, uh -huh. somos 12 miembros y casi nomás local, y de vez en sí. cuando vamos a Corpus, Laredo, así, pero este, nos ocupamos con bodas y quinceañeras, uh -huh. graduaciones, uh -huh. cosas así, hasta un divorcio tocamos una vez, <risa> que, quiero que sepas, <risa> este, pero casi nomás local, you know, y, no. y también el trabajo de, de, de día, you know, así, pero este, la música pues... La trae en las venas y no te la sí, quitas. No te la quitas. Te la Cuando quitas. te habló David para hacer este proyecto, ¿qué sentiste? ¿Qué, qué era tu pues pensamiento? Primeramente, uh, un orgullo para mí, porque David bueno. tengo desde el 70 y algo que lo conocí. Uh -huh. Andaba yo con los fabulosos uh -huh. y tocamos varios lugares juntos. Y pues, primeramente no lo creía, y no, porque tanto cantante que hay ahorita tan bueno en la onda tejana. Y no, no y, es que te respeta bueno, el, el talento. Y también la amistad. Y no, so, uh, discutimos una canción y le dije: Mira, yo tengo una que escribí yo. Le dije, se la mandé, le mandé una, una, un sample y le gustó y, y hicimos un arreglo y, bueno. y la grabamos. Dime de la canción, ¿cómo se llama? La canción se llama Tú tienes la culpa. Ándale. Okay. Tú cómo... tienes la culpa que yo ande tomando. Siempre le echamos la culpa a otra persona <risa> y más a las mujeres. Sí. Este, la canción se trata así de un, un señor que está, you know, agarró la tomada y dice, tú tienes la culpa que ande tomando, tú tienes la culpa que me mire así, you know. Y no se quiere echar la culpa él solo, y pues, uh, ni, ni modo, así es la historia. There, right? A little psychology, yeah. <laughs> We always blame, some, gotta blame somebody. Exactly. Yeah. Aquí está Eri Pérez con la canción de él, Tú Tienes la Culpa. Eri, thank you. Thank you. Okay, brother. vas debiendo cuántas madrugadas he visto nacer tú tienes la culpa que me ande muriendo que me 
continue here with David Lee Garza's show and dance and I have with me today Johnny Ramirez the powerhouse international <laughs> voice of radio that's funny you like that I like that how much I, is that 20 bucks uh, I'll take 20 20 bucks I got you and and you know what a blast because I am the interviewer and he's your interviewee and it's usually <laughs> backed around the other way right yeah yeah I don't like it when the tables are turned yeah well it's turned now it is it has turned <laughs> full circle my oh my how are you Johnny I'm good how are you good sir? to see you buddy it's good to see you too so tell it's me good about to see you back in action by the way well this is a, a favor from my friend and I, it, it does feel good this is a uh, this song here. Uh, is this a career change? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely keeping my day job. Yeah. So uh, somebody said we didn't know you could sing. I said, don't worry, I can't. You're safe. I thought maybe that we we're gonna have a CD after this one called "Lonely at the Top." Lonely at the top. <laughs> <laughs> and it's real close to the bottom. Uh, no, actually, uh, just kind of worked it worked out. And uh, when David asked, we had originally we we're gonna use a. Uh, a Carlos Guzman song, uh, Cuando Eras Mía. But then we went into the studio, and you know, Gilbert Velasquez is like, he's always thinking. He's got his little stick and he's always thinking. And he said, I like that song, but you know what? We should do something. I have a, a relative in San Angelo who has a restaurant. And every time I go, he says, apparently they have us locked on on the internet over the restaurant. He says, he goes, hey, hey, you know that radio guy, right? That radio guy. And Gilbert's going, what radio guy? That radio guy, you know him, right? And Gilbert says, well, we don't hang out together, but yeah, we know each other and professionally. Yeah. Uh -huh. He said, man, radio guy, that's a good guy. He was like, okay. So then he had an idea. So then between Gilbert, uh, uh, a gentleman by the last name of Parria and... Henry Lee. Uh, Henry Lee, thank yeah. you very much. And uh, Billy O'Rourke, 
they kind of just all pulled their talents and they wrote this song that's specially tailored for me. Awesome. Doesn't mean anything, but it was a lot of fun to do. So this is kind of an audio uh, <laughs> job description. Pretty much. <laughs> well yeah, done. It's pretty much, it, you know, it's, I've, I've had the good fortune of being with KXCN for 20 years, uh, met a lot of great people and, and we've lost some great talent along the years. Absolutely. But So when they asked, I said, yeah. Why not? It's like, with David Lee? Really? Exactly. It's Everybody like, feels that way about the CD, really. Yeah. If, so, uh, and you know what? He, he's got so, so many great vocalists on there. And oh, I was man. just, I was like, wow, being amongst them to me is exactly. an honor. I've played them before. I've interviewed them before. And, and now just to be uh, one cut of, you know, of 11 cuts is, is great. That's easy. You know, the thing is, Johnny, that uh, you have such an iconic voice. I know you, <laughs> no, really. I mean, uh, you're respected throughout the United States. And, uh, not only by the audience, by uh, products that uh, you have sponsored. Working but, our way up to 40 bucks now, ladies and gentlemen. But now, but no, check this out. <laughs> but when I listen to you, uh -huh. I always wonder, uh, is your is your laugh canned? Do you just push a button because it comes on and comes <laughs> off like crazy? No. <laughs> Easy, man. <laughs> I have this goofy laugh and, you know, I have the good fortune of, of working with some good people, but I have this goofy laugh and people think it's a canned thing and, and I said, no, that's the way I laugh. I'm sorry. And you just put, it's, it's like you push a button, click, and there's the laugh. Okay, click, I'm off now. But, well, uh, it, no, through, but it through, is real. Yeah, it, it's real. a real laugh and, and just one of those things and when I see something that strikes me as funny, it's, it's really, really goofy and you think it's canned and it, it's a cross between a Pee Wee Herman laugh and an Eddie Murphy laugh, something like that. But it works. Um, but it works, and, and yeah. that's the only one I got. So, yeah, well, I mean, I, I wish I had your laugh, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm stuck no, with the one I got. No, you, you did a great job on this, and I think it gives the... Uh, the uh, CD, uh, a little different twist. Uh, we're all good friends. We're all uh, uh, in in it together to have fun. That, and that's the whole idea about it. But right. congratulations on well, this. Thank you. I appreciate and, that. And uh, hopefully there's another one. You know, uh, if the CD number two, now let's, let's do another let, one. Let's not and say we did. How's that? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll leave the singing for the professionals. And I have a face for radio and a face a mother can love. So I'll stay behind the scenes and, and just, you know, in the background. And, and I'll, I'll be a happy camper. Right. But it is a pleasure being on with you, sir. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Uh, likewise here, Johnny Ramirez, and he's uh, up next. Please 
living in records till I die. They call me the radio guy. No, que no te lo lavas, pistolita, el yone with David Lee. All right, next we have uh, the main man himself, David Lee Garza. David, first I want to say that I am um, honored and uh, I, I appreciate the fact that you asked me to come and do this. Uh, uh, I remember the days of, uh, back in the days when we used to play your records uh, in a radio business and uh, I've had uh, been affiliated with the Hano Music for a long time, so when you asked me to do this, I was honored to come out and, and help you out with this project, so thank you very much. Thank you, Henry. Uh when the, I was asked, you know, who, who do we get to just to interview the guys or, or talk about this group, your project? And I said, you know what, Henry Peña, I mean, I remember back in the day, yeah, uh, you'd bring on uh, Sonny Ozuna, the Latin breed, and um, the way you did it, and it was just amazed me, you know, being young and, 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 and so young in, in the Onda, the Onda Tejana that we're, that we're doing. So uh, I always remember you, and I said, you know what, we're going to going to ask Henry for come on and do this for us. A little nostalgic, uh, bring back the, a little bit of the Pepsi Pena show. There you go. So thank you uh, so much for this. I want to pick your brain a little bit um, when you, I know this is kind of a solo project on your own and uh, where did the concept come from? It was uh, lots of material that we had uh, that was left over when we uh, did uh, Los Musicales CDs. You know, you always go and record 10, 12, 13, 14 songs. So we had songs that were left over that, that right. maybe didn't fit the musicales. So uh, that being the case, you know, we have all these songs. And uh, I, I talked to my dad. I talked to my dad, and, he, and I told him, Dad, I have several songs that I, I'd like to put together on a CD. Uh, and I'd like to ask different artists to come in and, and sing them because they've asked me to be on their projects. I think uh, if I ask them, I, I don't think anybody will say no. And, and sure enough, you know, the moment I picked up the phone and asked them, uh, and, and told them about this Just Friends project. Uh, everybody was more than happy to do it. So uh, that's where the concept come, come from, uh, came from. And uh, we had a, a great time doing it. Well, I'll tell you what, I think one of the reasons that they came out uh, the way they did is because you have elevated yourselves to a very high standard. You're a professional, a consummate professional. You continue to work. You're consistent. Your music is consistent. Uh, you're always a, a crowd pleaser. They always come out to see you. And that's just called respect from your peers. And uh, when your peers respect you, then uh, certainly they're going to all raise their hand and say, I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of it. And really, this whole thing has the makings of another one because you said you recorded uh, 16, 15 songs. You only got about 10 of them here. So you, I, I think you've got more in the can. I've got several phone calls from guys that, that didn't get on. Exactly. First, they said, oh, "Okay, uh, are well, you going to do me? another one? Are you going to do another one? Because I want to be on it." And I said, "Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about the volume two. Yeah, there Just you go. Volume two. Absolutely. And this DVD really gives you a chance to uh, get to know the artist one on one. It's hard for the fans to actually get to know what the artist is like because they're singing. You don't know what they're thinking, what they're what they're like, and that's why the fan always wants to come out and say, you know, can you autograph this for me? Hoping to to communicate with the artist a little bit. They come out and buy your T-shirts because they want to take a souvenir home. But here we talked to we talked to them today, uh, kind of got their feeling, their personality, and I think you you did a great job with the uh, lineup that you did today. So uh, congratulations to you. You know, that, thank, that's thank awesome. You so much. Thank you. And another. Uh, point I, I want to touch on uh, we're gonna have uh, these people our friends uh, that from all over Texas that we've invited to come and dance you know I think it's very important for, for our young generation to see that that when their parents go to the dance they don't just go to sit down and listen to the music they get up and dance and everybody has their unique style of dancing so we're gonna try to feature a little bit of that along with the, with, the, with our all this wonderful uh, lineup of vocalists that, that we have on just friends well I can tell you this from the Pepsi Pena show, the show is on the stage, uh, is on the dance floor. That's I can tell it. you that right That's now, <laughs> because uh, I know you guys are performing on stage. But when you get out here and see uh, the fans dance, everybody has a different uh, outfit on. They got their own way of dancing. Way of dancing. It, uh, music is a, is a medicine, and it makes you happy. It makes you laugh. It makes you fall in love. The whole thing. And when you guys are playing, they got out here and they show what they're made out of, and that's what the dance floor is about. And uh, 
it, it really uh, makes the show all together. So I think that uh, the dancing in this DVD is going to be a, a little spin off of, uh, of that old Pepsi Pena show, Pepsi which Pena is kind of right? that's kind of nice. One of the other persons I want to talk about, which is of course, I think every organization that uh, has a structure needs a foundation, right. and the foundation for David Lee is uh, your friend, uh, a longtime uh, friend of yours, uh, Joey. Joey Rodriguez, Joey Rodriguez yes. and and Joey is uh, the guy who actually uh, is in charge of the business, in charge of the direction of way which way you're going, right. uh, makes the business decision because you're busy enough making uh, calls on the music and uh, you have to be involved. But uh, Joey has been such a strong uh, part of your organization. I got to give him props for this. Uh, he's the one who first called me, and then uh, they put it together. But I've seen him so many times working behind the scenes and, uh, and keeping you uh, moving forward, and you need a guy like that in, in an organization. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. Uh, Joey, man, he's, he's like a brother to me, and right. uh, he's been with me over 20 years, booking the band, booking Los Musicales, and uh, we're constantly on on the phone talking, right. and uh, he's always keeping me busy. I say, Joey, can I have tomorrow off? I'm going to go play golf. And he said, well, okay, what time do you finish? i got something for you to do. <laughs> so, yeah, hats yeah. off to Joey, man. Yeah, he's, he's beautiful. And uh, like I said, uh, he makes it happen. Yeah, well, you know, I've, I've participated in your golf tournaments. Mm -hmm. And when I go there, the first guy you see is Joey because he's, he's in the middle of everything. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Got, he's got that hand out there. Yeah, like, okay, getting it done. Who's going to pay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and the last time we were in Vegas, when you did that show in Vegas, yeah. uh, Joey was running back and forth trying to get everything, uh, all the lo logistics and and strategies to make sure that the show went on well. Right. So my hat's off to you, Joey, and thank you very much for being a part of this organization and the great foundation and the leadership that you've given uh, David Lee. So David, uh, without, oh, I want to talk about the two songs that you're going to do. Okay, which one? Uh, the instrumentals. The instrumental? Yeah. Yeah, we've got an instrumental song. Uh, it's uh, two polkas that we put together. I took him to Gilbert Velasquez, the producer, and uh, I told him, Gilbert, I got these two polkas, but they're not, they're not your typical polkas. I said they're a little bit more sophisticated. They got more uh, uh, keys and, and changes and this and that. He says, "Oh, give it to me, give it to me. I'll make it work." So Gilbert put it together, and I go back in the studio and to do my part, the accordion. And uh, I, I was amazed. You know, he did. A, they did a wonderful job. Him and, and Mario Ortiz. And, so and, would and you say the that the these polkas are more for the musicians, or uh, yeah, they're more for the musicians, <laughs> I would say. And they're two polkas that, that my dad asked me to learn uh -huh. and when I was much younger. And, he's, and my dad had a saying, he says, if you learn this polka, then I will call you, you'll be called a uh, musician. Awesome. Eres músico, he would tell him. Entonces, si eres músico. And then I, I would learn that polka. And, and then I told him, Dad, I learned the polka. He says, okay, well, when you learn this other one, then you're going to really be called a musician. So <laughs> I, 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 I guess up to now, I'm no. not a musician. But I did those two songs in, 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 in his honor, and I named them Tony's Favorites. Awesome. That is great. Uh, a great tribute to your dad. Of course, I knew your dad. Fine gentleman. Uh, I would run into him from time to time at all the Tejano venues we used to do downtown and that kind of thing. But uh, that's a great tribute to your dad and to your family. Of course, that is the second uh, uh, support staff that you have. You oh, know, yeah, your, your family has got to be there with you. And uh, I, I think that your organization has, uh, of course, Joey, yourself, and then the family to support you. You really can't go wrong with that. And it shows when you, when you perform and when they come out and see you. And I think the fans understand that, and that's why they've gone out right now and bought the CD. And, and, and hopefully they'll enjoy this DVD because you and I are, are uh, talking about the way this thing was put together. Correct. And uh, it's, it's kind of hard to get on the road and, and with all these different vocalists because they have their own uh, tour schedule and everything. Right. So to get them all together at one time is kind of hard. So that's why Joey and I, we said, let's do the DVD like that. Our fans can see that, that they did record yes. with us, you know, and uh, they, they can see what they look like and what they sound like again, you know, yeah. on this DVD. Great history here. This is a CD and a DVD you must put in your collection. So, David, thank you so much again for asking me to be here. It's an thank honor. You, thank you. And uh, enjoy the rest of the show. And uh, we got David coming up pretty quick.